16 cent tax on a barrel of crude oil. They're also taxing natural gas and coal. Now this stuff does add up, but any economist, even the fiat economist like Paul, Paul Krugman, like complete and utter clown. He said that the internet back in the days, his famous prediction, that the internet would be as relevant to business as the fax machine was. Basically nothing. But he has made this comment about how Democrats, with the recent bill, the Inflation Reduction Act, which has a bunch of climate fighting efforts in there, is going to actually do something to avoid our climate crisis. So a 16 cent tax on a barrel of oil, you know, might be between 50 and hundred dollars, just like a range for a barrel of oil. That's going to prevent us from a climate doomsday. <laughs> all it's gonna do is pass on the costs to consumers. This is what all taxes do. This is why, and we have the data on this. They wanna ignore it, but we have the data on this. When the government lowers taxes, tax revenue increases. When it raises taxes, tax, rev tax revenue decreases. Now that's one thing, but also, we also know this, that when they raise taxes on corporations or wealthy individuals who own corporations and invest in corporations, et cetera, prices rise. So the irony and the stupidity to say that, one, we're gonna fight climate with a 16 cent tax on a barrel of oil, like that's gonna freaking do anything other than make things more expensive for everyday people. But to say that the Inflation Reduction Act which is like an $800 spending bill, is going to reduce inflation by raising taxes on products and services that pass on to consumers while also printing a bunch of money to do it, which is inflation. You're, you print money, there's more of it out there. Inflation <laughs> is the most clownish thing that I've ever seen in the couple years that I've been following along with politics because before that I didn't give a shit. I need to get back to that place because it's, it's a freaking clown show. But 2020 happened and they took away a lot of my freedoms. They made so I couldn't travel, all this crap. And so I started paying attention. But this is the most clownish thing that I've seen that they've done. And it's also a sign, as I've believed for a while, that the end is near. The end of, I mean, the Democrats are gonna lose power. We know that, right? But we're also getting to this point where it's so clownish that the whole world's gonna end because these people and the fiat paradigm that they uphold is gonna, bring us into World War III over some shenanigans like Taiwan or whatever, that's one thing. That's what another way it's gonna end. Or the other way it's gonna end is they're gonna make it so bad that people are literally going to take up arms and there's gonna be a revolution. And that's gonna be very ugly. I don't want it to happen. But the more they do this shit and they say this stuff, the closer that we get.